Hello, my name is Jordis Verbenner, and this is a winter solstice tower reading for everybody who's watching. So if you have anything planned for the 22nd of December 2023, or if you're just curious what is the overall energy of this winter solstice, what does it mean? I will also give you astrological information about this event. Because we have a Venus opposition Uranus on the 22nd, which means there's going to be some unusual, unexpected twist in your relationships, in your money matters, and you could have a surprise sale, a per surprise purchase, or a surprise visit. There could be some kind of gathering on the 22nd, and this is actually what's happening. <laughs> I'm actually going to a ceremony on the 22nd tomorrow, which means I won't be doing any videos on the 2022nd. I will be back right after because I'm doing something <laughs> not quite legal on the 22nd, if you know what I mean. Because honestly, none of the plant medicines that are actually worth taking legal so big deal and this is a time to go inwards this is a time to do some kind of soul searching because this is the darkest time of the year so unless you're doing some kind of healing ritual or cleansing ritual I'm not sure if you're really in alignment with those energies of course you can do whatever you want but this is something that puts you deep down into the root and we are getting deep down into the root, of course, with the coming Cancer Full Moon on the 27th. And there are a lot of people who don't like winter, right? There are a lot of people who don't like going into the dark, looking into their unconscious, looking into their body, their feelings, their emotions, because they find that there's many things which they haven't really taken responsibility for. Because the Cancer, cancer, the cancer Capricorn axis, during which the winter solstice takes place, as we are just about to enter the sign of Capricorn, is all about taking responsibility for the foundation, which is your emotional well-being. Because without emotional well-being, without happiness, no matter what project you have, no matter what career, it's all going to fail if you don't have something to stand on. Which of course is always your, your own subconscious. If you are not fulfilled, you are not in the right place. So let's do this. Let's put some cards and ask, well, what messages can we receive about this winter solstice? Of course, as always, I am not asking angels. I am not asking guides because these are demonic entities and they have nothing good for you or anybody. And uh, they're not going to care about your reading. The only one doing the reading is you or me. Your energy determines when you're going to pick. Nobody else. So let's pick. Hmm? Any hidden messages of the winter solstice 2023? The 22nd of December. Anything? What is this about, really? Okay. This just stopped up. Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, of course, is about offers. Many different things that we can do at the same time, many opportunities, but we're not sure what's really going to be the priority. Of course, it makes sense. We have a coming Christmas. There's a lot of thinking going on, a lot of planning, and this is about commitment. If you want the goods, need to commit to one of them. 
at least. Not that you can't have it all. Uh, of course, you have all these opportunities on the card. But usually it means some kind of confusion. Some kind of confusion. So clarify why did Seven of Cups pop up. By the way, I should probably <laughs> do the other side. Alright. Why does this refuse to go back in? Ten of Wands. Okay. So Ten of Wands could be about a lot of things to do. You're not quite sure if it's going to work out. A lot of burdens. And you don't really need to stress that much. I mean, if things don't seem clear and you have a lot of stuff to do at this time, this is not really a good time to do anything except to relax, right? It's the winter solstice we're talking about. That's why most people don't like it, because they don't want to relax, especially not around Christmas, right? We want to get shit done. But it would have been better if you got it done already. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It looks like most people and not really in tune with the energies. Like the way I read this. Yeah. No wonder the fool popped up. So the fool pops up because this is like Aries energy. Like we do whatever. We're not really paying attention to what's happening around us, what's happening in front of us, what's happening behind us. We're just heading straight into the unknown. Business as usual. I mean, if you ask me, this reading tells me nobody really pays attention to the winter solstice, nobody cares. And that's why people get stressed and confused, because they're not really taking the time to be present. I mean, the Fool is by far the least present of all the cards. <laughs> Although it is the first and the last, it is curious. Let's pick some more cards. Okay, let's pick two more. Hmm. Okay. When my cards fall down, because these cards are just horrible to do. Okay, so I got five of ones. So this is basically about protecting yourself against intruding energies, against stress, things that take away your peace, just trying to keep it together, really. This is somebody who's surrounded by threats and he's trying to make boundaries. And we have a five of pentacles, which is somebody who's left out in the cold. Um, these are really negative energies for the winter solstice. Like, really negative. Like, all of these cards are negative. Except the Fool. And the Five of Pentacles shows that most people are feeling more or less lonely at this time. I think people can't wait to actually get together with somebody. To actually spend time with loved ones. Maybe you're also waiting for somebody to give you company. Because this is the darkest time of the year, so again, it's not really surprising that these cards show up. And when there's the Seven of Wands, so there's a lot of wands here, a lot of fire. Again, fending off against opposition. Yeah, somebody who just is making sure that all that shit stays away. That he's just minding his own business and he doesn't want all that stress, he just wants to keep it away. Mm -hmm. There's no pentacles. There's only one cups card. The only pentacles card is negative. It's curious. Mm -hmm. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So clearly people are looking for companionship right now. Like, clearly, this is a time to get together. I'm not surprised, again, because the 22nd of December is 2 plus 2. 
This is the second card of the Minor Arcana Two of Cups. I mean, you can't make this up, really. So I see here that um, there's a decision that needs to be made. There's boundaries that need to be made. People are feeling lonely, left out. And then there's this full energy of just like, I'm just doing whatever I want. And it's better that way because this is a lot of stress and I don't want to have that stress, especially not doing this time. Like really, you just really want to take a step back. So tell me, what can we do about all of this? How do we get some groundedness here? Aha, uh -huh, the tower. So something has to break down, something has to finish. And this is basically how we are going to finish 2023 with a tower moment. I've known many people who've had a tower moment recently, including myself, in which you need to let something go. A source of stress, something you made, you basically created your own stress. Because whatever you are doing <laughs> isn't at the beginning of my reading. Why I said, well, what you're doing is not on solid foundation, you see, the ice be beneath the tower. And how Capricorn and Cancer, the Cancer full moon is all about foundations. So this shows the foundation is going to collapse. Now keep in mind that after this, the star comes next in the major arcana. That means wish fulfillment happens after the tower, usually. So tell me, what is this tower about? Hmm? What is it about, really? Uh -huh. The devil. I mean, you can't make this up. It's a Capricorn card. So that's what's breaking down. The control system. Slavery. The matrix. Fear. Illusion. You thought you were a slave, you thought you had to do that, you thought you had those obligations, right? Those contracts, that job, that relationship, that career, that habit, that routine. You thought you needed to do it, you thought that was your foundation, but clearly it's about to collapse breaking down because it's not a real foundation this is the material realm and this is a spiritual card the spiritual against the material trying to break you free clearly clearly very interesting <laughs> yes of course i am not surprised i get these cards all right so what else I mean, what happens after this tower moment? What happens that we embrace the fool's journey and we push through all these challenges and we finally find a way out of the control system and let it die because it needs to die, really. Like, we've been giving our power away for way too long, holding on to these pentacles, trying to block our heart chakra. You see how he, his heart is blocked with a pentacle in front of his heart and the pentacle blocking his head, making sure that he's very tightly holding on to that stability, that security that he has, but it's breaking down. It's not supposed to last unless it was founded on something that comes from deep within, something spiritual. So what do we need? What does a real foundation for us look like? Tell me. Because it's a cancer for a moon, right? That's coming. Hmm. Yeah, two of wands. So we do have something. You see, we have a world in our hands. We do have a choice. We can choose differently. If we can just take matters into our own hand, right? Like he takes the world into his hand with a red cape, with his fire, spirit. Again, a number two. 
like the two of cups here, a choice, a commitment that needs to be made for the tower moment to finish. So we can go to the next. On the fool's journey, which is the star, which is wish fulfillment, we want to go there. We want to leave the control system behind. We want to leave fear behind, excessive attachment, slavery, free of wants, and judgment. There you go. There you go. Free of wands and judgment. So free of wands. You have all the wands. You have all the choices. You ha you are at the crossroads. You know, a lot of people are at the crossroads right now. And the call of a trumpet makes it very clear what has to happen here for resurrection, right? Like you see in the card. Of the coming out of a tomb, embracing a new awakening. A new way of being. After a time of death. Of being in those boxes. You see those boxes? It's like the matrix. They're coming out of a matrix. <laughs> because they allow themselves to follow those wands. They take the first step. Towards that new road. That new path they need to take. But of course the call of a trumpet. Hardly anybody listens to the call of a trumpet. Really. I mean, if you look around, your friends, your family, the people around you, nobody gives a shit about the trumpet. Everybody's ignoring the call. Are you going to ignore it? Because you want this, right? Know your worth. You got those pentacles beneath you. You got those pentacles on the side. You're growing graves behind you. Because you can do it. You have the resources available. You don't need to be a slave. <laughs> it's not necessary. It's only an illusion, you see. Eventually, everybody has to take things into their own hands. Because you can't stay here. It's, it's not good for you, obviously. It's, it's, it's fake anyways. I mean, come on. Come on. The tower is here for a reason. This is a fakery. Fakery. So give me a clarifier. Let me know how do we break free. Is there something specific that people need to do? Something that people need to be aware of for this winter solstice? To, to come out on top. Mm. Interesting. I got something in reverse. Normally I don't do reverses of this deck, but this just came out. So I have Eight of Wands and King of Swords in reverse. So the King of Swords in reverse is normally somebody who is very rigid, very tyrannical. He's using his mind to control everything. So this is what we need to let go. Controlling everything with our mind. Being stuck in the head. Thinking that if we are in control of the information, if we know all the facts before we take action, then we're going to be fine. But you need this. You need to push to get out of this. Literally, you need to follow your instincts. Take action. This is like quick energy, like go, 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 you see. The fire burning within, it just wants to stab this guy. <laughs> wants to stab him. You see in the head, like, how it goes into his head. <laughs> stab him with warmth. <laughs> you want to get out of here, right? You can't wait, can you? To get out of whatever situation you find yourself in. I know this will not resonate with everyone. I mean, this is only a collective reading. A lot of us, we know this is not going to work. We don't want to be mental about everything. Yeah? <laughs> Look at this card. It looks like Bono. <laughs> Look at it. I don't know if you know who it is, but they used to work with this guy and it literally looks like him. 
It's hilarious. Look, it's him. <laughs> I do like the King of Swords. I mean, I have King of Swords energy myself, but in reverse, somebody who is just uh, too rigidly trying to control things, you know, it's not healthy. It's like a boss who tells you, you know, you can't do it like this. Don't believe your intuition. Believe the facts, right? Obsessed with details, obsessed with deadlines. But things have to be tight and neat before taking action. It's like somebody who is obsessed with perfection. And that's ultimately what's behind the devil, you see. That's interesting, yeah. It's a very clear reading, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's very clear. I like it. Is there something positive happening in our favor for this winter solstice? Can we have something positive to end it? Something good is going to happen collectively for people. I know it doesn't apply to everyone. It's a very general reading. But if you look around, it will apply to most people. So. Uh -huh. Aha. Ah, oh. This is very positive indeed. So this is a positive message I put. The one positive thing about this time... Well, two things. I got two cards. Huh? The Chariot. Uh, and the Ten of Cups. So these cards, what are they about? To somebody who has a very clear sense of direction. A vision. This is the Cancer card, by the way. The Cancer Full Moon. So this is somebody who allows the spiritual forces, the feminine and the masculine, those two sphinxes, to guide him. You see, he's not in charge of the chariot. The chariot is in charge of him. He is completely convinced of all those moons on his chest, the blue tunic that he wears, this feminine energy. He's convinced that the sphinxes will not lead him astray, that he can trust his instincts, they will guide him. He's so confident that the sun is shining upon him, he knows he's going to succeed. He knows he's going to have a triumph. Because if you listen to the chariot within you, if you just follow your instincts, you're going to have this. So that's all that people need to do right now. Align yourself with those cancer energies. With me! Align yourself with me, and I will guide you towards the light in the Ten of Cups. You see, family, fulfillment, happiness, the end. When you got everything that you hope for, all you need to do is to just follow it through to the end. And if it drives you into the gutter, yeah, as it often does in its shadow, then it drives you into the gutter. What can you do? The divine is funny like that. It will drive you into the gutter and then it will get you right out of it. From rags to riches, you know. From rags to riches. But if you don't believe, if you don't have faith in the, to the sphinxes, into your instincts, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get this. Goodbye, I will not be yours. <laughs> so that's a positive message. But this is really all that you need. Make it simple. It's a very straightforward energy. Very straightforward. And I like it. It's in alignment with the cardinal energy which we have going on right now. With the Aries North Node, you know. The Cancer Full Moon, the Capricorn Sun Solstice coming. It's very cardinal. Like, I will take charge to get here. I take charge. Because... It's a fight between, literally, those two. Capricorn and Cancer. Sun opposition moon on the full moon. Like, literally. You see? So you let yourself be guided by the devil. Eh? When you dance with the devil, you for the material protection. Or you give up on those reins. Let intuition guide you. Your instincts. They know. <laughs> you see? So some people will stay in this energy, 
Avros will get into this one. Which one will you be? That's the choice that everybody has. So that's why we have two choices. That's why previously we had the two of cups and we had the two of wands. So that's what it's about. It's the dance with the devil versus the dance with the divine. And you see how also the background of this card is quite dark, very black. And here it's golden. Like, yeah, here we go. Can't wait for the triumph to come. I know it's mine. If only I believe and don't allow myself to get distracted by the illusions. This guy is just nasty. I don't like him. Now it's raining outside. So this is really a perfect ending for a reading. So I hope this resonates and you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like. And if you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe. If you're interested in a reading, you can message me. I can do personal tarot readings and astrology readings one-on-one. -on -one. Just reach out for my email or messenger. You'll see the information on the YouTube link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.